Oh my gosh, that is so annoying. I don't know what the heck I was doing. Hi, Purple Panther. How are you? You guys, this was so annoying. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> it's like the first time I'm going live on my YouTube. So, I don't know what the heck I'm doing, to be honest. Okay, so I, I did want to show you guys that... I've had these for like a long time now. I feel like um, I've had them for like almost maybe three weeks or something, a month, I don't know. But I've been, I haven't really used these like I did the glow in the dark powders. These don't glow in the dark, they're just um, mica powders, which I believe they say they are like cosmetic grade. So if they do get like in your eye or something like that, like I don't think anything bad will happen versus like some other type of glitters I heard. So like these, I got them off Amazon. So when I'm done with the video, I'll leave it in the link in the description, the link in the description. So like you can make hand soap with these mica powders. You can make bath bombs, makeup, which is really cool. You could use these like as a highlight too, like a highlighter. So these are really like multi-use. So anyway, I'm gonna just mess around with my stuff and see how to do it. Okay, so here goes my powder. Oh, there's already a spoon in here. So I'm going to use this. Okay. And I put my Koopa acrylic in here. Even though, like, a lot, like, you really don't want to do that. People are going to think, like, it's MMA. But, I mean, my clients know it's not MMA. I have, like, all my bottles over there that say Koopa. So, they know I'm not going to try them like that. But anyway, I'm just going to start messing with my powders. So we'll see if this is my first time using them so we'll see how it, they come out so i want to do this purple one oh maybe i should use the purple container hi guys hi ashley bennett charlene gutierrez char was that charlene again yeah and i said hi to purple panther i always see you commenting hi babe my boyfriend's watching me on live nice how was work babe Hi, Bella Blends. Hi, Maria. Okay, so I'm just going to add the... Oh, it's like going everywhere. I'm going to add the... I actually don't even know how much powder to add, so we're just going to guess. Let me just add some of this first. This has like um like a shimmer to it. That's why I say you guys can use it as a highlight or you guys can make your own eyeshadows. I don't know how to do that, but I'm pretty sure there's videos on YouTube. And I don't even know how much to add, so I'm going to add a little bit in the beginning. I'm going to shake it up. Ooh, it's like really pigmented already. I didn't even add that much. Look at that. What? I did not add at, like at all from the little package. I didn't add that much. Can you guys hear me? I'm just trying to see if you guys can hear me. It's slow and boring at work. Of course it is. The coronavirus. Why does it look like that inside? Ew. Okay, I'm going to put glitters in these, you guys. I don't want to just, like, um, well, I'm going to see what they look like alone, but I'm pretty sure because it's shimmery, I want to add glitter. Okay, so you guys can hear me. Cool. Okay, did you guys hear my AC? Is it loud? I could turn it off. I feel like this needs more. I'm gonna see 
what other colors I'm gonna use. What are you guys doing? Are you guys bored? Is anybody working right now? Besides my boyfriend, bored on the phone? Yeah, I know you're working, babe. Oh, this is pretty. I don't know what it's gonna look like, though. Oh my gosh, I already got a lot of that on my hand. Let me read something. Somebody said they tried these mica powder or pigments and my first try I added too much. It was such a weird texture. But the second time I added to the white less pigment and it works beautifully. Okay, so I'm not going to add too much then. So thanks, Bella. So Ashley's bored at home. Everybody's bored. It sucks. I'm like going crazy being home. Is that too much, Bella? Did you add like too much? Is this like too much for you? What do you think? Because I'm afraid that it is going to be too, you know. I saw somebody do this. I don't remember who it was I saw on YouTube, but it did look like really thick the way they did it. So I guess these things are really pigmented. <laughs> At home trying to convince myself to work out. Me too. After I'm done with this, I need to work out because being home all day just makes you just lazy and eat things you really shouldn't be eating. I feel the same way. I had to put it in my schedule today. I'm like, you know what? I need to force myself to work out. Okay, what other color? I did berry. Um, yellow gold. What is that? I did purple. Oh, this mint green. It looks kind of like aqua. You guys know I love that color. I forgot how much these were. So I'm going to put these away. By the way, this has 24 colors. I don't remember how much this was, but I'll leave the link when I, like I said, when I'm done. So y'all can see. Okay, so I can add a little more, she said. Oh, this one's like so pigmented looking. I'm scared to add more. gosh look at my hands oh I'm a hot mess right here ah. I'm gonna swatch them like this and then I'm gonna add glitter so I bet you guys can't find Viva paper towels right now I need to work out. What do you guys do for workouts? The only thing I like to do is do like a Jillian Michaels like video or something because I feel like it's fast and intense. So I'm not working out all day. I can't stand wasting my time doing that. Some of them are more pigmented than others. I accidentally spilled some on my carpet. Oh no. And it's not coming out. You guys know what I do when I when I make a mess with like permanent marker and stuff like that. I, I use acetone to see if I could take anything out. But it works. Okay, so I'm going to do this one. I think I might have added too much to this. I'm not sure. is so pretty hi Kathy how you guys doing what are you guys up to you guys have plans at home obviously we can't go out <laughs> so this is Koopa liquid Probably going to ruin my little thing, but who cares? Okay. Moment of truth. I don't 
like to add it on the inside, you guys, because I feel like it gets marbled, marbleized too much. So I like to try it on here. I feel like you could tell right away. I don't know why this is giving me like grape juice vibes. <laughs> I feel like this one, I could add a little more maybe. But then again, we're adding glitter, so I don't know if that'll make sense. I feel like this one needs more pigment. Chilling with my bird. <laughs> That's funny. What workout? I didn't see. Let me see. I didn't read what you said. There's a girl who does hit workouts and it only takes 20 minutes and works great. Oh, okay. But it hurts so bad. Well, that's what we're looking for. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. I'm going to try that out then. It sounds intense. Where are you guys from? What state you guys live in? I'm very curious. The consistency doesn't feel too bad. But maybe, I don't know, I think I need to add Pigment? More pigment? Pittsburgh, Mississippi. I've never been to any of those places. I'm in New York City. i never been there. I want to go everywhere. Oh, I think I passed by Mississippi once. I literally been to like what other state? Georgia, Colorado. What else have I? Where else have I been? California, obviously. Um, I don't know. I I need to travel more. Obviously, we can't now. Do any of you guys have YouTube channels? Because I love watching other people's nail videos. Let me know if you guys have your own channel so I can check it out. Dallas, Texas. I've been to Texas. My family lives over there. But I don't, I haven't been to Dallas. I think I've been to Houston, Austin, Texas. Okay. Let's try another one. I think we're getting somewhere with this. I'm going to add some glitter. Could they be used as dips? Um, I don't even know you guys. I feel like whenever I've seen like dip the, you know how acrylic is a little bit grittier than like dip powders? Dip powders are like super fine um, gritted, I guess. They, I don't know if you could. I mean, you probably could. I feel like sometimes when I try, like I think I was using Glamming Glitz and some of them were doing good as dip powders. Some of them were not. So I really don't know. You could try, but you guys know I'm not really like a dip um, specialist. I don't even know. I, I could do like a basic dip, obviously, but 
I really don't know about that one. Kathy likes the color. She says they're very pretty. I hope that they come out better with the glitter. Oh, I mixed this one one day. I should add this whole thing. This is like a little mix I did. Okay, well, I'm not going to add the whole thing. Some finer glitter. nail techs or in or in nail school on Sainted Beauty is a tag. that just likes to play <laughs> that's cool you guys know that I never really thought about doing nails before when I went to nail school I didn't even think about it my mom asked me when I was younger when I when I was like 15 when we used to go to the nail salon she was like would you ever want to do that and in my head I was like what are you talking about this is like an Asian um like dominated industry like i probably would never even do it because it just seemed like nobody else would do it you know i didn't know like ever anybody else used to do nails like other than the asian people so i never expected to be doing nails even though i really liked getting my nails in and stuff can you guys see that it looks weird on camera but it looks better in person <laughs> it looks so weird I like it though. It's pretty cool. Ashley Bennett is in nail school. How's that going? Um, you probably aren't in school right now, obviously, but before then, how was it going? <laughs> Sequoia, I've learned everything from YouTube, but would love to go to school for them. I'm telling you guys, you don't learn anything in school. Like, nail school, hair school. This is what I hear from everybody. You don't learn nothing in school. You basically go to learn the basics. You go for, you know, your state regulations and OSHA regulations and HIV AIDS and how to not cross-contaminate. That's really what you're supposed to learn and get your certificate. But other than that, I feel like you don't learn anything in nail school. Unless you have, like, a really good teacher. But I had I had a really good teacher at the end of my my schooling. But the 90% the of the time I was in nail school, I had this teacher that really didn't care about what we were doing. She was the nighttime teacher, I guess. And the daytime teacher, I switched at the end of my last i think my last two or three weeks and i was kind of sad because she knew a lot of stuff and i feel like i got robbed from the the whole experience because i was like why the more why does the nighttime teachers suck and the daytime teachers awesome oh thanks betty ash said she likes the she said the nails are so cute I heard I knew a girl here because in Florida it's easy it's faster to get your nail license it's like 240 hours I think um but I knew a girl she told me she finished in three months here and I was like what it took me like five months because I did nighttime classes which takes too long 
to um, finish, basically. Where is the top? Oh, was it this one? Fatty Ash, hi, girl. What are you doing? Do any of you guys have kids? Are you guys tired of this homeschooling thing, like me? I feel like these are a little translucent though, but I think it's because I'm not adding a lot. I wonder if I add white, what would happen? I don't want to ruin it if I mess up something. I kind of like this the way it is. I would add more if I wanted it more opaque, but I think I want to add glitter and I want it to kind of be, I don't know why I really like when it's, when the powders are kind of see-through. One time when I was, um, I just got out of nail school back in like 2014 and I accidentally, I remember I accidentally made Milky Way and I was like, this is kind of cool, but it wasn't really in or anything, so I didn't really think anything of it. But I had accidentally made it because I was trying to make my own cover pink, which I don't know how the heck I ended up with Milky Way. Kathy said her kids are adults. <laughs> Lucky. Oh, you have a toddler and trying to work from a girl. It is kind of like hard in the beginning because when they're like, you know, you got to watch them when they're babies. I'm, you know, I'm fortunate. My mom helps me with um, watching the kids because my baby, my girl's like almost two. My son's like almost eight this month. But when he was, I think he was three when I was in L school. And then when, you know, I got out everybody would complain about the the smell in the house so i was like you know what i'm not doing this i'm so annoyed at this and i just not even i didn't even care about nails like for the longest time i was like you know what i can't even practice at home so like i kind of quit i was like whatever well this is so pretty but then eventually you know when i i took one person and then everybody stopped complaining they were like oh whatever we got used to the the smell and my son was probably five at that point, I think. Was he five or six? I think it was like going on six. But it, it kind of made it easier. But I did, I don't know if you guys know, but I did start doing, taking actual clients in Florida when I was seven months pregnant. So I kind of told myself, if I don't do this now, I'm never doing it. So I kind of had to push myself to do it. Stop making my excuses like I was doing. Oh, I love this one. What do you guys think? I don't know if you guys could see it. I feel like it looks so different. The color looks so different on the, um, because I have my tablet. I'm looking at myself do this, so it looks so different on the live. I really like this one. I kind of don't even want to put glitter in it. <laughs> it's so pretty. I'm going to keep it like this. I'm gonna add a little more though. And to be honest guys, this consistency with the mica powder is so smooth. It like makes it buttery, but I think it's just as long as you don't overdo it. Was anybody's birthday this month? Or last month, my birthday got ruined. So upset. Okay, let's try this one. You guys, I'm gonna turn my air off. It's probably being annoying. My 
birthday is in June. Hopefully this whole thing is blown over by June because I want to travel. Oh my gosh, you know what this will be good for you guys? This one right here looks like you could do like a cover like a, a or like a very sheer pink. But I feel like if you add more pigment and build it up, it'll look like a beautiful pink cover. You could use it like for a pink and white or like a pink and white ombre. As long as it's more a little bit more pigmented, it's not as pigmented. So maybe if I add more, it'll look way better. I think I'm gonna add more pigment to that one. And I believe I did berry for this one. Yeah, cause it looks open. I already opened it. I only opened these three. Oh my gosh, Olga C said her birthday got ruined too. So happy belated. Sucks that our birthdays got ruined. But I'm going to have a fake birthday, you guys, whenever this thing blows over. Oh, Sequoia said it's stressful. My daughter is too. It is, especially because you have to be, like, you know, with the client and stuff. Um, But if you have, like, if you can get, like, a sitter, that would work. Because even if it's, you know, you can pay the sitter part-time for a little bit if you can. And if you can't. Totally understandable, um, but you do have, you know, you could, you got to try to figure it out. It's not easy though, that's for sure. But I feel like me being uh, like a stay, not a stay at home mom, but like obviously I am a stay at home mom, but I, I am a work at home mom. So like it does make it easier for me to you know be more involved with my kids so it does help but some people really need that break from their kids and i don't blame them but to me for me personally i just like being around my kids a lot like right now that my son's home from school i'm like yeah i don't gotta take him to school but i do have to do his work or help him with his work <laughs> she said, Olga said she's going to have a fake birthday too. <laughs> that is so funny. I'm serious though. I'm not even joking. I'm going to decorate it like it's my birthday. Um, I'm probably going to get dressed up and go somewhere. I swear it ruined it because I was, it was, I was so excited. You guys did, I, I don't know if, um, I think I, I don't know if I told you guys, I actually got sick, like I had to cancel, but this happens to me every single year. Once a year I get kind of sick, like with the flu and I always have to cancel that day. Um, but I remember I got sick in March and not March in February. I got sick in February. Now that I think about it, I'm like, oh my gosh, did I have the coronavirus? And I didn't even know. Um, it was. Oh, it was scary. Are, are any are you guys sick? Did you guys get sick last month or this month or in February? Hi, Estella Garcia and hey, Tanila. I don't know if I said that right. How are you guys doing? Yeah, this one's really pretty too. I don't know if I want to add glitter to this because it's so pretty. I might do a, a separate one with glitter. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a different container. Oh, look, I got darker. Oh, shoot. I messed it up, guys. I messed it up. I was trying to pick the other ones up to show you guys. Let's see if I can fix it. If I can't fix it, I'll just re-swatch it.
I wanted to show you this one. These got stuck together. Okay. Look, it got really dark. And it's like very opaque. This color is so pretty. I want to do this next. Well, have any of you guys taken advantage of Koopa's sale? I think they still have it. The 25, was it 25% off? Yeah, I think it was 25% off. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do another glitter one. I did buy a couple things like a week ago, but you guys, it hasn't came. I don't know why. They do. I remember and before the coronavirus thing happened, they did take a while either way. They took like a week and a half, so I'm still waiting. It's only been a week and two days, so it's almost been a week and a half. I bought, what did I buy off Koopa this time? I bought another one of these because I wanted to make more powders. I bought another, this is like 1.45 pounds. I always just say 1.5, but anyway, it's like almost a pound and a half of powder. And then I bought, oh, I bought the giveaway prize because that's why I've been trying to like do that. But, but you guys, it hasn't showed up. It hasn't came yet. So I'm like really sad because I really want to do the giveaway. And it's a really good giveaway, you guys. So stay tuned for that. So hopefully it comes. They didn't, they didn't even give me a tracking number this time. Usually it takes like a couple of days for them to sh like send me the UPS tracking number because they send it through UPS. But they haven't sent me nothing. I don't even know where it's at. Because I bought the, the giveaway prize. I bought one of these um, 1.45 thingies of powder. What else did I buy? Oh, and I bought my um, my tip cutter because I broke mine, sadly. I don't know what color to pick. Oh, look at this one. Baby blue. It looks like baby blue. For real, right? On Sainted Beauty. I'm telling you guys, I probably had it and I didn't know because nobody was talking about it in February about the coronavirus. Everybody was kind of getting sick and um, it wasn't a thing on the news. Like it wasn't, well, it was a thing, but not over here. So we, I wasn't even paying attention to that whole thing because I was like, whatever, it's just another flu thing. Every year we get something, but... I guess it was super bad because look what what's going on now. But I remember I canceled my appointments and my boyfriend got sick. My kids got sick. The day I remember um, I got really sick one morning and I had to cancel everything. I woke up. I had a headache. I felt nauseous. What else? My nose was not. The weird thing is. They say, like, you lose your sense of taste and smell, and I, and that's something that happened to me. And I thought it was weird because that's never happened to me. So, who knows? Maybe we all had it and we didn't even know. Yeah, I don't really ever get sick. I get sick once a year, and that's pretty much it. But that was the weirdest, like, flu or whatever thing I ever had. You guys, I'm still getting people asking if I'm taking clients. And I'm like, are you guys serious? <laughs> I would be so scared to go to anybody's house right now. Because, you know, they don't show symptoms. I'm going to add um, glitter to this. I don't care because I really want a glitter one. Where is... Oh, this is too translucent. Definitely adding glitter.
You guys are sick for two weeks? I think I was only sick for like a week. My kids ended up like throwing up the next day when I got sick. Fortunately, they didn't get that sick. Ashley says she's feeling sick. I hope you feel better. To be honest, you guys, they said that the coronavirus is, um, like some people don't show symptoms. And I honestly think it's because at the time I didn't know I had it, so I didn't freak out. And I, I heard that people panicking, <clears throat> people panicking is making your chest feel like you can't breathe. Because you guys know how anxiety makes you feel like that. So you start panicking and worrying, so it gets worse. So even if you if anybody does have it, you guys like don't feel like, oh my gosh, I have it, like I'm gonna die. Like you're not obviously everybody doesn't die. It's a very small percentage of people with like really un bad underlying, you know, health conditions. Um, but I feel like it makes it worse when people make you feel like, oh my gosh, it's bad, it's this and that, and you're gonna die. Like, no, don't that's what makes, you know, makes your mind think you're sick. You got to make yourself stress-free. Don't get stressed. Stay in a good, like, mindset. And, you know, just try to recover, eat healthy, drink a lot of water, take your vitamins. Um, I'm, But I can see, like, if I was sick right now, I probably would be freaking out only because of the news. So I don't even try to watch the news that much. Because it is a very, very small percentage of people that are, you know, not that get sick, but that are actually dying from it. So always remember to think rationally, because a lot of the times you guys, I don't trust the news. I'm going to just tell you guys that I just don't trust it. You're welcome. Hopefully Kathy or who was it? Who Ashley was Ashley? Oh yeah, Ashley. I hope you get better, Ashley. Just try to like relax. That's what the best thing you could do is like relax, chill out. Um, you know, just try to I bet I was taking smoothies and putting like this, I don't know what kind of powder it was. It has collagen and stuff in it. Um, it has like an immune boost. Like just try to boost up your immune system. So even if you are sick, even if you got the virus. It's still a flu virus, and yeah, it affects some people bad, but it could probably do nothing to you. You could just probably feel really like a normal type of sick. Um, I feel like people need to like not panic, though, and like, it's making it worse. It's making you feel like you can't breathe. I really think that's what it is. It does look like, like blue eyes. What else should I add? I'm gonna add a darker blue. Should I do this one? Eh. I got these at Walmart. Just so you guys know. <laughs> I think this whole thing was like under three bucks. Look, my whole hand is highlighted. Looks like a chrome. I wonder if you could use this for chrome.
she said i canceled my appointments too and i never cancel me either i can't stand canceling on people like if i get sick that's the one time i'm gonna cancel i just don't i don't know that i feel like that's very inconsistent unless you have an emergency like i get it but that's why you don't want to be that person that always cancel on people because when you really need to cancel people are gonna just start looking at you funny This one's cute. It's like a baby blue with some little angel foils. I feel like the possibilities with this is very endless. And I have to label these later. This one is so pretty. It's like a nice little pink i made such a mess you guys look at this you see how i have um uh oh you see how i have this liquid left over put some acetone half and half you put your brush in because look my brush is getting all ugly and you don't want to leave it like that. Say you have a client coming after that. Like, that's a big, bad problem right there. So leave this for 10 minutes. And, like, put it to the side. I made a mess. Right? That's true. That's what kind of, like, the vibe I got. Kathy said that would be great for a frozen theme. Yeah, that is so cool. I was thinking of that too, like ice, Iceland or like a Christmas theme, blue Christmas theme. Yup. So we got the blue. I'm gonna. I don't know what I'm gonna call this though. I gotta like label them. This one, I don't even know what to call that one. We got these two. And this one, look at this one, very glittery. I'll probably do a purple one by itself. Stay, it's like slipping off. Doesn't wanna stay. Stay, okay, don't stay. You guys, I only have two masks left. <laughs> Do you guys know where I can buy more masks? I don't care if they're like the reusable ones. Oh, I can call one Blue Ice and Teal Wonder. That's actually a good idea. I'm gonna write that down before I forget. Cause I will forget. <laughs> So we got a wonder. This pen doesn't work. Does this one work? Feel oh wonder. Blue ice. What else? Is that my dad or is that my brother? I don't know. Hi. Okay, guys, I'm going to figure out what to need. Oh, Purple Passion. We got Purple Passion. What about this one, you guys? What should I name this? Did anybody give me a name for that? Bella's back. She said it was on 1%. Girl, you sound like me. <laughs> Look lady, look lady. Okay, we'll name that one look lady. Thank you guys, that was helpful. All right, you guys, Bella came back late. Sorry, Bella, but I am gonna get off. I'll probably try to go on live sometime other time this week. 
but I do have to continue with my schedule. I, I literally make a, a list every day as, as much as I can try to and try to do like, I guess, one hour marks in between, like say, um, I was supposed to go live at 12. I don't remember what time I started, but I'm supposed to finish at one. And actually, no, I was supposed to work out at 12. So I'm a little behind. So I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys so much for joining my live and I appreciate it so much. Love you guys. Take care. Have a good one, guys. Stay healthy and stay safe and try not to go out too much. Bye, guys.